Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying six flavors of Lily's Kettle Chips. We have the original, the sea salt and black pepper, pimento cheese. I have the buttermilk sweet onion, Carolina dirt barbecue, and then hot pepper vinegar. I don't know if I want dirt in my barbecue, but you know, whatever. Uh, we have actually tried two of these. We have tried the um, Carolina dirt barbecue. It was in a different bag. The bag was all this uh, the same like red color, and there the on the bag they were called Lily's Q, which is this is who these are distributed by. Lily's is Lily's Q. So we've tried these. We've also tried the hot pepper vinegar kettle chips, and apparently the people at Lily's saw the video that we did on the hot pepper vinegar, and we said they were. Uh, very, very, um, they were under seasoned, that they hardly had any seasoning no, at all. Didn't have any no, so they sent us all of these uh, free for us to review again. And I'll be honest with you, when I bought these, um, the hot pepper vinegar kettle chips, we bought them from Rural King. And someone had told me, um, he said, I want you to know, friends of mine have bought those chips and they said that they didn't taste any uh flavoring on them at all and i said well we're gonna we're gonna get them and we're gonna try them and so we did and we didn't taste any flavor so we'll see these might be different maybe rural king got a dud batch we don't know but we're absolutely willing to try them again so uh lily's original kettle chips simple delicious crunch with the perfect dusting of salt these are 230 calories for the bag. It is a, a 1.375 ounce bag. And they just look like regular chips and there's still more in here. This is not a brand that we get in our area often. No, it's strange to see them at, mm -hmm. at Rural King. It's not a salty potato chip. It is. It's, it's a little hard on the kettle side. You know, mm -hmm. some kettle chips are harder, some of them are softer. This is on the harder side, but not the hardest we've had. Mm -hmm. um, a decent amount of salt. I yeah. like the amount yeah. of salt. Yeah, I think they did, um, you can taste the salt, and they didn't go overboard with it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're too hard either. No, no, like I said, they're on the harder side. They're not hard. These would be a good dipping chip because they, were, they are firm. Yes. So now we're gonna try the sea salt and black pepper, which I love sea salt and black pepper chips. Lots of spice, just the right kick, and the perfect kettle cook crunch. These are 210 calories for the bag. Some of my favorite chips are black pepper. So we'll see how these compare. I found a fold over. Yep. Top one. I love it. Love it. Mm, it's good. I like it that they put the black pepper in there, but they're not overpoweringly black pepper. It's mm -hmm. like burn your mouth off. I could definitely eat that whole bag. Mm -hmm. Those are good. I would get those again and again. They have a great amount of black pepper. You taste it, but it's not too peppery. Yeah, don't burn your mouth. Not at all. Uh, yeah. those, those I love those. Pimento cheese, a staple southern flavor anyone can get behind. This is only 190 calories, and I love pimento cheese. Both of us love pimento mm -hmm. cheese. Ooh, these Ooh. are- uh, Definitely orange. Yes, they are. I, I don't know why I didn't expect that. And I'm, I'm finding the foldovers. There's quite a few. They have a cheese flavor. I don't know if I would have said pimento cheese, but. No, but I'm getting cheese. Mm -hmm. And I got one from the very bottom of the bag. It had more spice on it. And I still wouldn't have said pimento cheese. No. I probably would have said a, a spicy cheese, right. but not hot. No. It has a really nice, um, well, really nice uh, flavor without being hot. Well, the pimento, pimento cheese should have a little bit of a vinegary kick to it. Mm -hmm. 
because you have those uh, pimentos in there, which is in vinegar. Um, so it should be just a little bit of that pimento flavor. I don't get the pimento flavor. I get the cheese flavor, just not the pimento. Right, but I like these very, very much. Mm, they're good, uh, it has a good cheese flavor. Gluten-free, zero grams trans fat, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. Those I would get again too. Now the Carolina Dirt- You do the barbecue the onion before the- Oh, what do you want to do, these? Yeah. Buttermilk? Okay, buttermilk sweet onion. Yeah, it's a sweet onion, not for before barbecue. Made with onions as perfectly sweet and flavorful as the place they call home. 190 calories. Smaller potatoes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Those are good. You do get, I didn't get a lot of onion right at first, but then the aftertaste, the what's, what you're left with is oniony. Mm -hmm. I like this quite a bit. I think you do get um, onion. I, I very much like the onion. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about the buttermilk. No. No, but I mean, it just tastes like an onion chip. To me, if I was blindfolded, I would say that is a great sweet onion chip. Yeah. yeah. Um, it it's doesn't taste sour like, cream and onion. I was gonna say, it does not taste like sour cream and onion. It's just a sweet onion. Yeah, yeah, because I got an onion chip. So the They're Carolina good. Dirt Barbecue, I do not remember what we said during the review. It's been a long time ago. Named for our famous barbecue rub in Carolina's clay colored soil. 190 calories. Ooh, gave you too many, probably. Why were the ones that I like so many calories? <laughs> That's a good bit of different. There's a different seasoning in there. That if I didn't like. know better, I would think there was cinnamon in that. It doesn't come across the cinnamon to me, but it does does have a flavor on there that I don't know that I care for. It has sunflower, canola, paprika, other spices, brown sugar, dehydrated onion, and garlic. I, I don't mind them, but I would swear they had cinnamon on them. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't get cinnamon, but I do get a spice that I don't like. Um, They're a little hot too. Got a little burn. I don't. I don't mind them, but it's not a barbecue that I would go to. No, no. Just because I, I would swear. I, I think that's the. I think that's one of the, the spices. Hot pepper vinegar. The same old salt and vinegar chip took a tasty trip south. 190 calories. Now the ones we had before literally had no flavor. They had, they tasted like a regular potato. Yeah, like a regular potato without they any salt. They truly did not have, <laughs> yeah, they did not have any hot pepper or vinegar or anything. These are so tiny. I want you to look, which is great to pop in your mouth. That has flavor. It does. It, um, it almost tastes like a malt vinegar. Do you think Royal King like got like, like, do you think it was kind of a Big Lots type thing? Like a reject batch? Mm-hmm. And they already made them, so they didn't want to throw them away? Could be. If that's the case, though... They did a disservice to themselves. I would want it to say, I would want the bag to say, um, or let people know somehow that these weren't up to par. Right. Because Not it, to spec or something. Because truly, those potato chips had i wouldn't want people to think oh they're just saying they have flavor now because the company sent them no they literally this have is a completely different chip than what we had from yeah. royal king it's I literally know. like the royal king the version that royal king got mm -hmm. it was almost like they made a batch they didn't put the seasoning in there correct I mean, like had no seasoning in them and they said well we've already made these they're sealed we need to sell them to somebody and they got them. And they got them. But that's what it seems like. We don't know. We don't know. That's what it seems like. Because these are completely different chip. They, yes. Tell, this is not what we got mm -hmm. at all. I can tell you right now. Because that one has a malt vinegary flavor and a little burn in the back of your throat. Yes. It pepper. actually burns. Yeah. And I actually really, yeah. really like that. That's what I want from my vinegar. Right. Um, 
That is really nice. Yeah. yeah, I would just, I would hate for people to think, oh, they sent them to them, so they're saying that. That's different. And, and honestly, Kevin's right. They're doing a disservice by not marking the bag somehow as... Of course, would you buy them if they said rejects? <laughs> or not to spec or something? No, but, the, you know, uh, you're thinking that, oh, I'm never going to buy those chips again because yeah. they don't have any flavor. That's what's and bad And that's about. what people thought because the person that told me, hey, my friends have bought bags of these and they're all saying they don't have any flavor. And then we get the same, one of the same bags from Rural King, I mean, you know, out of the same batch. And ours didn't have any flavor either. So yeah, they're, people that work there are thinking, everybody that works there is thinking, I'm not gonna buy those again because yeah. they don't have any flavor, when you, really they do. If you were to buy those at Royal King and taste them, you're gonna go, well, that chip has any flavor. I'm not gonna buy this brand again. Right. Um, so yeah, they don't. If, if that was the case, they don't need to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> I, would, I would rather um, donate them and and not sell them if if something happened to where the flavor didn't get out of if that was the case like if I that said, was we the don't case know. um it sure seems like it sure that. seems like because these have a completely different totally different flavor than um the, the only ones i personally would not buy again are the carolina barbecue yeah it has a weird spice in there it's different yeah it's, and people might love that spice but i personally don't i yeah and then my, I like all the other ones, but my favorite is the sea salt and black pepper. Um, I think I like the um, the, the vinegar, vinegar and the uh, the sea salt pepper ones too. Um, the pimento cheese was good. It just has cheese though. I wish it did have a little more of that pimento flavor, but they were good. So if you were to name a top three. Um, onion, I wouldn't want onion, onion all the time. Um, probably those two and just the regular ones. Uh, so the original sea salt, black pepper, the vinegar, hot pepper, and then uh, just the original. Okay, I would pick the sea salt and black pepper, um, the vinegar, which is amazing because we, you know, uh, before, and I'm gonna say pimento cheese because yeah. I really do like that the cheese flavor. But now they're all they're good quality chips. I'm glad they sent them to me. I am too. Um, they, they, if you're watching from Lily's, I really appreciate it because truly, um. I, I had thought this is a brand that I, I will not go to again, but now you've changed my mind. So I appreciate you sending them, but I would want to look into what happened to that batch. Yeah. You know, who knows? Uh, but these are really good. I hope good you all get a chance to, to try them yourself. And thanks for watching.